Hey my friends, today I will make a progressive house drop in 15 minutes. What? Yes you heard that right, in only 15 minutes. I can tell you the secret is that you need to have the right samples and sounds. Of course you also need to have a fast workflow but the sound selection is king. Even the coolest melody will sound like crap if you don't use the right synths. If you don't believe me just keep watching. Alright let's start the timer. I like to start with a piano. So first I open up FL keys. I'm gonna grab a MIDI file from my new Orbit pack. I only want the chords so I'm gonna remove the melody. I really like this chord progression. Now I'm gonna write my own melody using the Orbit LD10 preset from Silenth 1. This sounds great. I'm gonna add a variation at the end to keep the melody interesting. Perfect. Now it's time to add some more lead synths. Remember less is more guys. You don't have to layer 20 sounds. Just make sure you get the volume of each layer right. Check this out, such a fat sound with only 3 side length 1 layers. Now I'm gonna add some effects. Just watch and take notes.
Wow that sounds really dope. Let me add the piano into the playlist. Now I'm gonna add some synths to the chords. I want a plucky chord layer. Yeah, this one is nice. I'm gonna layer this with a more aggressive synth. This is awesome. Let me a couple of effects to them as well. Piano needs some processing as well. Great. Now it sounds nice and fat. Don't forget to add a limiter to your master so nothing is going above 0 dB. Cool. Now we need bass. The Orbit Serum Bank has really dope bass sounds. Oh crap. My serum crack isn't working anymore. Haha. <laughs> Just kidding guys. I have to open up Splice to activate my license. Let's add some mid bass layers. See, I told ya, this presets are awesome. Now we still need a sub bass. This one's great. We also need some processing on these. I sent all mid bass layers to one channel and the sub bass to a separate channel. Again watch and take notes.
Awesome. We are running out of time, so let's add some drums. First we need a kick. Now I'm gonna add a drop clap and some down lifters. We need to add something to the second half of the drop. I like this drum loop. This will add some more movement and keep the drop interesting. Don't forget to add some ambient sounds. No progressive house drop is complete without these sounds. Oh yes. We just need some more mixing to glue all sounds together. The kick still needs some EQing. That sounds great. Crap, the time is almost over. Let me just add a drum fill in the middle of the drop and at the end. My heart is beating like crazy guys, the Tomorrowland main stage is dying to play this banger in July haha. <laughs> By the way, today my brand new progressive house sample pack called Orbit is out now. Every single sample and preset that I used in this tutorial is included in the pack. But of course that's not all. This pack comes with 180 drum samples, 180 effect samples, 100 silent one, 100 serum presets and 40 midi chords. And as I said at the beginning, sound selection is king. So make sure to get the pack now if you want to make progressive house like Martin Garrix Dubvision or Mattis and Sadko. First link in the description. Let's check out the final result. Guys.
please. I love you.